I'd like to welcome you guys to this week's report. Um, as you're probably well aware, we've had quite a bit of weather change here since I uh, went out of town last week. Um, left here with nice and sunny, warm, some rain on the way, and I come back with uh, snow on the mountains. So definitely uh, starting to see some fall seasons happening here in Southern California. Uh, as expected, the rain and all the other wind and stuff we had over the you know this week has uh, had kind of a detrimental effect on um, inshore fishing and offshore fishing. But um, before I get into what's happening, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on, why it, ha why it is the way it is, and what's going to happen here in the coming days. So basically, we had that strong episode of wind uh, early last week, or it was over the weekend. I don't remember exactly what it was. But that was the first round we had, and then we had more on Tuesday, and basically all that wind pushed the big northwest swell down here, which caused most of the coastal and island areas to upwell. So what happens is that big swell has a lot of water movement. As it gets closer to the land, it compresses, churns it up, brings up the cold water to the surface, often dirties the water as well. Um, and that kind of is a shock to the system for the fish. It's just basically they stop biting. Uh, anything shallow, rockfish, things like that, they're not really as affected. Bass, yellowtail, bonita, sea bass, halibut, even anything you mentioned or you're going to fish for shallow is going to be negatively impacted by that. So what happens is the water drops dramatically, two, three degrees, four, five degrees, depending on where you're at. And the fish just stop biting for a while. And... Um, what will happen is it'll be you know tough fishing right off the bat and it'll slowly get back to normal as long as no more upwellings happen. So although the temperature may not rebound to where it was before, the fish acclimate to that new temperature and will start biting a little bit better again. And looking into this weekend's uh, forecast, it looks like um, it's going to be a little breezy on Saturday afternoon and Sunday on the offshore islands, but after that we're going into uh, more of an offshore pattern. And that offshore pattern should really stabilize uh, conditions in the coming week. And by next weekend, we've got great weather everywhere, at least in the preliminary forecast. Still quite a ways out. It's Friday morning when I'm making this report. So I'm talking about eight days away. It looks like it's going to be a great weekend. So while this week may not be great, next weekend might be, uh, might be nice fall conditions with good fishing again. So keep an eye out for that. Um, Although I don't really have a whole lot to talk to you or talk about this week, I'm going to go to the map. All right, let's head up to the Channel Islands. The uh, rockfish bite up there is really good, uh, both along the coast and at the islands. The boats fish in Rosa, when the weather allows, we're getting some nice big reds, lings, and the uh, the boats fish in Santa Cruz are getting some as well. There's good fishing along the beach. I've seen a couple of reports, I think, from the Stardust or the Coral Sea that fished local one day and had some nice fishing this last week. That area up there is going to be kind of hit by weather on Sunday, but uh, we're shifting to the offshore pattern, like I said earlier, and that's really going to improve your chances up there. And I might even try and sneak up there next weekend. Weather, if the weather holds up like forecast, it should be a, a great time to go up there and make a longer run on a small boat and maybe go to Nick or, uh, not Nick, I'm sorry, go to Rose or Miguel, maybe run up to Conception. I don't know. We'll see how, uh, see how the weather pans out. Um, yeah, so the boats out of uh, Santa Barbara and Ventura are just they're basically just fishing rockfish right now, as is everyone. Um, I don't see anything really anything else really happening up that way other than that. You could probably catch a bass, but I don't think it's going to be great bass fishing for private boaters right now. Um, the rock fishing as you go down the coast uh, is not as good unless you're going to Nick, basically. And I, I know the El Dorado has trips online out there, and I don't know if they're getting off the dock yet or not. Um, but you can catch rockfish pretty much anywhere from, you know, Point Conception to the Mexican border. And, you know, the quality of fish, as usual, is going to kind of go down as you get further south. Um, but that's pretty much what all the sport boats that everybody are doing right now anyway. Uh, speaking of rockfish, there's some big changes coming uh, where they're talking about closing it for maybe seven months next year. So um, if you haven't looked into that, I would look into the rockfish regulations for 2023. And so <clears throat> when they close it this year, they're adding a month. So they normally close it at the end of December. So you're normally January, February, March is closed. They're closing it through April. And now I'm hearing that next year they're going to close it from September until April, which would basically make rockfish 
off limits except for the times when uh, when people aren't fishing for them. So uh, that's on the horizon. <clears throat> I don't know that there's much we can do about it this time, uh, but just want to make you guys aware of that. That's uh, definitely, if you hear anything, see anything on social media, I know Captain Dave Hansen's been talking a lot about it. He actually has on his uh, Facebook page, I think, a, a number where you can call to uh, to complain or maybe an email address to write a write an email to tell them how you feel about that whole thing. But, uh, yeah, you can probably find him on any social media, Captain Dave Hansen's uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. He was talking a lot about it while I was on vacation. Um, yeah, anyway, so like I said, other than the rockfish, there's not a lot going on except for, for the bluefin tuna that are still biting despite the uh, weather. They're, they're pretty weather resistant as far as that goes. You know, the, the bait fish that they're feeding on does not move fast. So there's no reason for the tuna to leave just because the water temp dropped or things like that. They're, you know, they're usually swimming deep enough that they're in cold water anyway. You know, even though even the surface temp is 75 degrees, you get down there 100, 200 feet, and it's a lot colder than that. So they don't really mind it being cold on the surface. Um, sport boats are still getting onto those. Uh, I don't think it's going to be windy enough. On Saturday, it's probably very fishable out where those things are. Sunday, yeah, it's going to be rough. But uh, private boaters, I'd probably wait until next week or next weekend to, uh, to go out and do that because it's going to be pretty windy. Um, yeah, the yellowfin that were up here, they're still around. I know the Sikas uh, sport fishing had a good, good shot of them the other day. Uh, and that's all inside of Clemente. Um, same basic zone. Just like the bluefin, the yellowfin are still here. If we get another hit or two of wind, I don't think they're going to stick around because they're a lot more temperature sensitive than the uh, bluefin are. So... Uh, you know, if you find a little area of some stable water, like I've mentioned before at this time of year, you really want to look at your water temperature and keep a track of it over a week or more just to see where you're going to be at when you get out there. Because these pockets are really going to continue to hold fish if they remain stable, even if the water drops around them or if they drop a little less in the other water. These fish seem to have a knack for finding those areas and feeding in them. But uh, yeah, there's been reports of bluefin scattered down all the way down to the Mexican border. Um, there's not a lot of coverage out there right now. I know the San Diego boats, uh, the full day boats have basically given up and gone to the Coronado Island schedule. I don't, I don't even know if they got off the dock uh, this week. I wasn't paying attention since I was on vacation. Um, but you can probably check out Tony's report and she can give you a rundown on what's happening on the, uh, on the sport boats down there. But yeah, like I said, you know, we're coming off uh, upwelling pretty much everywhere. We're coming off a full moon. Um, got some stability coming into our weather. And by next weekend, we've got great weather. So, you know, we might be catching bluefin for maybe yellowfin for Thanksgiving. We don't know. Um, anyway, that's about it for this week. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and good luck if you go out fishing.